I'm Jay Atwood, and in this demo, I'll walk you through how you can use the Doctopus add-on from New Vision for Public Schools by Andrew Stillman with Apara's Teacher Dashboard. For those of you who don't know Teacher Dashboard, one of the things that it does sets up folders for each of your students. In this case, this is a course that I'm teaching, and here's a folder for each one that's named appropriately with the student's name. Teacher Dashboard also gives you an overview into what's in those folders. Doctopus can work with Teacher Dashboard and tapping into the class roster that's created by Teacher Dashboard. Here's how. When you build your new roster in step one of Doctopus, you're allowed to choose Import for Teacher Dashboard. You can give the roster a name, then you're supposed to select one of the Teacher Dashboard folders. These are the folders that Teacher Dashboard creates automatically for each student. Now you can use Doctopus to deliver documents straight into those. After you've selected it, below is the student roster, which you can give a quick overview for. And if this is OK, you can import this roster. There we go, success. Doctopus has pulled in the student's first name, last name, their email address, and the student folder key. If everything's OK, click Save this roster and continue. It will save this roster for you so you can reuse it later. Now you can continue through Doctopus to distribute files or folders to the students, and they'll go right to everybody's student folder that was created by Teacher Dashboard. If you want to learn how to use Doctopus, watch one of the other videos that's linked here. So that's a quick overview of how Doctopus integrates with Teacher Dashboard. One of the benefits of using Doctopus this way is that it allows you to use the Gubrick extension to assess student work. If you want to learn more about that, you can watch my Gubrick walkthrough video as well. Happy scripting!